He landed a helicopter on my property, and they're coming to the house, and you've done nothing to stop them. Don't, don't answer it. I'm going to answer it. I'm going to send whoever did this back to the dump. Oh, hi, Dad. What? <laughs> 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 One Arlene in this lifetime is all I can handle. <laughs> You're Annie Lavery, right? Uh, Annie Chandler now. Right. Mm. Uh, this is my husband, Mateo. Hey, Annie. Hi. Hi. Oh, Scott, are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, my mm. God, you are so gorgeous. Nice surprise. Oh, my gosh. Yes, yes, God. Oh, are you... Stop it. You are so beautiful. <laughs> it is so cool to see you guys. Hello, Haley. Erica, I hi. expect to see you here. Uh, actually, no, I'm uh, kind of surprised to be here myself. <laughs> Mateo. You look great. Thank you. So do you. So do you both. I mean, mm -hmm. L.A. definitely agrees with you. It definitely does. Welcome back, Mr. and Mrs. Hollywood. Look at uh, you guys. Well, thank you. You only have yourself to blame. I wouldn't have even gotten involved in this business if you didn't trick me That's into auditioning. That's exactly right. Mwah. You look fantastic. What's <laughs> up, brother? I want you to meet this little one. You don't know her, do you? Say hello to two very special people. Haley and Mateo Santos, say hi. Hi. Hello. You are a beauty. You can call me Haley. <laughs> Thank Good to see you. goodness, oh it's the goodness. two of you. Oh, I have been having the weirdest visions. You are a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> Welcome. Thank um, you. What is going on? I mean, the last time I checked, half of the people in this room couldn't stand the other half. What exactly are we interrupting? Uh, just yeah. our wedding. <laughs> Yeah, we oh. were, I thought you were already... Well, we were renewing our vows. Oh. <laughs> so soon. How sweet. Are either of the boys with you? No, no, not on this trip. We're actually here on business. Business? So you uh, stormed the house by helicopter? <laughs> <laughs> we're um, doing a tape piece for Wave, and I come bearing big news. The Atlantic Press has voted Pine Valley the best town in America. Oh. Which new councilman bribed the press for that one? Best town in America. It's legit. And I'm doing a documentary about Pine Valley to coincide with it. Come on in, guys. Right through there. <laughs> Actually, um, we're in the middle of Whoa. my... Haley, tell us more about this documentary. Well, it's... It's really nothing on par with what you did in Africa. I mean, that piece was absolutely beautiful. I see so many awards coming your way. Thank you. I, I got your sweet note. Uh, actually, so the judge is about oh, to Oh, and the way you left New Beginnings was epic. I uh -huh. wish you could have heard our studio audience burst into cheers when you told those suits what they could do with their opinions. <laughs> I really want you to be a major part of this piece. Oh, thank you. We can certainly talk about it. But I really want the first interview to be with you, Dad. Uh, Adam? We have a, uh, a ceremony to finish. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and any interview of me uh, will include, of course, my new wife. Of course. Right. We're gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. To give recognition to the worth and beauty of love. And to cherish the words that unite Annie and Adam. I mean, I know when Uncle Stuart passed away, it really hit my father hard, but has he completely lost his mind marrying this woman? You know her history, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we did our research. She's Lucy Borden, only not a sweet. Uh, there was a time when my father died, when Adam really did seem to lose his mind. Just understanding sorry I wasn't here for him, you know, or, or, or here for you for that matter. We wanted to be home for Uncle Stewart's funeral, but we were on location and on assignment in the middle of nowhere. I know, I know, I get it. You were in Australia. It's a long way away. We got the phone calls, we got the flowers, we appreciated it, and my dad would have understood. For better. He loved you guys so much. There's never been a kinder soul on this planet than Uncle Stewart. I gotta wonder what he would think about what my dad is doing right now. I do. And Annie, do you take Adam to be your beloved husband? Do you promise to be a tender and faithful wife? Do you promise to love and cherish him through sickness and health, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, and keep yourself only unto him? 
I do. Adam, take the ring and place it on Annie's finger. With this ring, a gift to you, symbolizes my desire that you be my wife from this day forward. Annie, take the ring and place it on Adam's finger. This ring, a gift to you, symbolizes my desire for you to be my husband from this day forward. Let these rings serve not as locks binding you together, but as keys opening your hearts to each other. And now, by the authority vested in me, I announce with great joy that you are husband and wife, and you may seal the vows with a kiss. <laughs> Can I go hug mommy now? Yeah, sweetie, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, my you. What? Wait, hey, 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 you're not leaving yet. Can't she stay for a little while? Well, Emma is tired. She needs to get home and go to bed. Give your mother a kiss and a hug, okay? Okay, good. I love you so much. Thank you for being here with mommy. Have sweet dreams, okay? I love you. Haley's documentary is a great opportunity. For what? For me to put my new face forward. Let everyone know that I'm Mrs. Adam Chandler now and no longer crazy and Lavery. Uh, yeah, that may be harder than you think. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but it's going to take a whole lot more than a smile and a how do you do on a talk show to fix your reputation. Haley, your crew was asking if you could approve the spot for the interviews. Oh, yeah, thanks. Sure. Thank you. So, uh, this isn't really the reception we were yeah. hoping for. I don't mind. I've missed her so much. She's very nice. And strong, like you. But tell me I'm just being a paranoid stepmother, or do I feel that she might have some kind of hidden agenda? No, she's not out to get you. You can trust me on that. Of course I trust you. I trust you on everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> You don't like me very much, do you, Haley? I don't know you. I don't make snap judgments about people. Right, but first impressions can be quite telling. I've known many of my father's wives. I just don't get you. Well, you don't have to. Love knows no rules. Yeah, but doesn't know honesty. I think what you want. Adam and I are very happy. Good for you. I just, um... I want you to know that you wouldn't even be a part of this documentary if my father hadn't insisted. And why not? I pulled myself up from nothing. I have fought for everything I have, just like Erica, and just like your father, and just like everybody else in this town. Isn't that the whole Pine Valley spirit you're here to cover? You pulled yourself into his bed and bought your stepping stones with his money. I was going for something with a little more warmth, but you know what? Now you've got me looking forward to our interview. I hope you ladies are about to get the show on the road. We still have a um, wedding night on schedule. What's the matter? She's just like all of your other kids. Out for revenge. Out to hurt you. Follow my lead. I'll uh, make this work for us. I promise. I feel it's apropos that we start with you as one of Pine Valley's newest residents. What is it about this community that you find so appealing? Two words. Adam Chandler. <laughs> he is the light in my life. And since he is the most successful businessman and generous philanthropist in town, I would say he pretty much epitomizes Pine Valley. Mm. But you've had a rough time here, haven't you? I mean, a nasty divorce murdered your own brother, spent time in a mental institution, locked in a nasty custody battle. I mean, life certainly has not been sunshine and roses for you here. Deep down inside, part of you must really feel unwanted or unwelcomed here. Annie is the embodiment of what it means to be Pine Valley. If you want happiness, you want love, you want a better life, well, you're in the right place. And that spirit is what's driven 
this town all this time. It's that spirit that makes this a very special place to live. And that same spirit that makes Annie a very special person. Mm-hmm. <laughs>